God bless you all over the country we come once more again that the Lord has blessed us that we bring you a live service from the Solid Rock Baptist Church here in Brooklyn, New York. Our address is 120 Tompkins Avenue, Brooklyn, New York, 11206. We want to encourage you, those of you that are listening, whether on your laptop, desktop, iPad, even in the hospital, we want to say to you, our son, brother Mark, if you're watching, if someone was able to bring you the laptop, if you can see us, we want to encourage you to let you know that God is still on the throne. Sometimes you may be feeling pain. Sometimes you feel like giving up. But we want to let you know here at Solid Rock that God is still on the throne. We want you to join us today. You just lift your hands up and wherever you are, you just lift your hands up and turn with and just give God some praise. And you out there watching us today in South Carolina, in Atlanta, Georgia, in North Jersey, Brooklyn, we want to let you know whatever you're going through, don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give out. Hold on. Jesus on changing hands. After the cloud, after the new inspiration, here at the Solid Rock Baptist Church, I, the shepherd of this flock, Reverend Dr. Nathan J. Williams, will come and bring a word from the Lord. God bless you.
Wherever you're watching us from, wherever you are, just give God some praise and let him know that he is on the throne. For those of you that just tuned into our broadcast, again, you're watching the Solid Rock Baptist Church. We're located in Biffa Stuyvesant area of Brooklyn, New York. Our address is 120 Tonkin Avenue where the doctor, Reverend Nathan J. Williams, is the pastor. 
we come to just encourage you today and we want to say to you our brother Mark if you're listening we want to be here for myself and Madam President and all usher boards we are rooting for you we are praying for you and we don't want you to give up we don't want you to be discouraged we want you to encourage yourself pick your spirit up realize that you wasn't standing on those doors for nothing you wasn't sending up prayers for nothing it's time to call on Jesus I'm not able to get there and Madam President is not able to get there the ushers are not able to get there but Jesus he is right there with you Jesus you can feel him in your room now in your room right now just lift your hands up and Tell that devil he a lie. No matter what you've been through, God can bring you through. God can encourage you. Pick your spirit up and let those that are in on your wards hear you giving God some praise. And see, when you lift up God, praise it goes up. His blessings come down. Those of you that are struggling out there, we want to bring a word to you today all of our friends and all of our listeners that have tuned in we here at the Silent Rock Baptist Church want to thank you for your prayers and want to thank you for your comments just keep praying for us and we going to keep praying for you that God God all by himself do a wonder in your life but just where you are just for a few moments if you Turn with me, uh, those of you that were jotted down in the sanctuary and at home, uh, even in your, in your churches, where you can tune in to us. Even if my friends and my family in Tennessee, uh, New Orleans, if you tune in, God is still on the throne. Yes, Galatians the second chapter and the twentieth verse. For you, Brother Mark, Paul encourage you in that second chapter and in that twentieth verse. You may be doing your therapy now, but Somebody get the word to you that God is a healer. Mm -hmm. Paul wants you to know, brother Mark, that I am crucified with Christ. Amen. He wants you to know, nevertheless, I live. But yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. Amen. In the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith of the Son of God who loved me and who gave himself for me brother Mark he said not that I am crucified with Christ nevertheless I live not I but Christ lives in me in the life which I now live in the flesh I live by faith it of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. You may be seated. I'm going to stop right there and I want to ask you a question this morning. How are you living? How are you living? Some people may say, well, you know, Rev, Pastor, my homie, I'm living large. I don't have to want for anything. Got a good job. Kids are doing all right. Wife is not so crazy. Husband is not so crazy. I'm I'm living I'm living large. How are you living? Large sometimes can fade away. Things that are 
earthly come and goes. But if we're living by faith, it's eternal. If we're living by Jesus' promise that he will never leave us, nor forsake you, then you're living large. Then and only then will you be living prosperous. I'm not living large, but I'm living by faith. Because I know what God gives me can nobody take from me. Amen. I know what God blesses me with can nobody take it. And so often we as people of God we get caught up in uh, the economical prosperity of the world. God blesses us who uh, amen to get good jobs and amen to hold good job and to live comfortably then we forget about God. We forget about God's people. How many times you have passed by and see your church member standing at the bus stop? Amen. God had blessed you. God had blessed you to get an automobile. All right, now. You go in there and see them and pass them on by. How many times we have invited them uh, uh, reluctantly to come to our house and God has blessed us to have a nice home and to have nice furniture. But there are only certain places you can sit. Help me somebody. Because you have worked so hard for what you have. But you can understand when somebody know that it comes from a blessing from God. When they invite you into their house, they say, anywhere you want to sit. It's all right with, with me. Because I'm grateful unto the Lord because he blessed me. So many of us protect a whole lot of things in life, but I believe in my opinion in this walk with God is that we protect some of the wrong things. We overprotected a lot of materialistic things. But where we ought to be overprotected of our soul. Amen. Right. We ought not let anybody Amen. feed us with any garbage. We ought not get ourselves caught up in any kind of thing that is not pleasing to God. Uh, we ought not to be able to entangle ourselves with things that can't get us blessings. Because if there's ever time that we're going to need to call on Jesus. Yeah. Is right now. And I guarantee you, Pastor can't give you those blessings. I can only touch and agree with you. But your faith is one that unlocks. Do I have a witness? I can pray till the cows come home. I can pray till the thunder begin to roar and the lightning begin to flash. But if you don't have faith in God, can I get a witness? Yes, sir. If you don't trust God by yourself, no matter what I can call on, no matter how I can get a connection, but if your faith is shattered, your faith is the one that will heal you. Your faith is the one that will deliver you. That's why I, I can touch and agree with you. I can pray for you all I wish to and I will continue praying but the blessings don't come until you have made that connection. Amen. 
Amen. Many times, one of us, and we know that we get on the prayer line and we send for the prayer cards and we send for the rabbit foot and we send for the astrology. Come on, somebody, hoping that the rabbit had to die just like you and I. Can I get a witness? But our faith will unlock doors. Amen. Just like you got the faith in the rabbit foot, you only have the faith in God to know that God. So I have a witness here. Amen. Make a way out of the way. It's a time it disturbs me to see folks that say that I've been redeemed. I've been washed in the blood of the Lamb. But yet always complaining. It disturbs me to understand that you sing the song that soon and very soon. You sing the song one day at a time. But yet still you got a long face. And yet still you got, amen, words to say that I don't know what tomorrow holds. But I know who holds my hand. Cheer up, my brother. Wherever you are, cheer up. Let God do what he got to do. And I believe that he didn't get those stripes. Brother Mark, for nothing, yeah. one of those stripes are for you. Yeah. One of those stripes was for me. Yeah. One of those stripes for you that are listening to me today. All you got to do is claim it. Yeah. Do I have any claimers here today? Yeah. Do I have anybody watching me today to claim your blessing? Yeah. To know that no matter what the doctor may say, yeah. Jesus, Jesus got to find him. Yeah. The word. Yeah. And when Jesus has the final word, he'll make ways for you. Yeah. Do I have a witness here? He'll open doors that no man can open. Yeah. But you know, sometimes, my brothers and sisters, we travel in life. Focus on the side view mirrors. Sometimes we always look at the rear view mirrors. And that's sometimes, that's the devil's job to cause us to watch things on the side of us. But it's okay to watch things on the side of you because Jesus said it's good for us to watch and pray. Can I get a witness? And many of us watches and sometimes by us watching what's on the side view Mirror sometimes can distract us. Yes. Sometimes things that are behind us sometimes can distract us. It's because all of us have a past. Yes. And sometimes our past can be very painful. Our life experience. We reflect back when I was. And you know, sometimes, my brothers and sisters, folks won't let you come out of the past. Folks won't let you walk in the newness of life. They always will say, I remember when. I remember when he did this. I remember when he did that. But I come to tell you, I'm not what I used to be. Come on, somebody. But I am now what I am by the grace of God. Looking behind us can sometimes be helpful. Sometimes it can be, amen, not so helpful. But what I want you, amen, those of you that are not strong to look and to keep going, I just need you to stay focused on Jesus. I just need you to keep looking to the cross. Look to Jesus. We cannot drive and you cannot, amen, have faith in God by keep looking back. Do like Paul say, I'm going to forget those things. Do I have a witness here? Those things which are behind me now. But I'm oppressed. Yes, 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 yes. Hallelujah. 
Yes. Fresh mean. I'm going to have the determination. Yes. Hallelujah. Deacon Brown to keep on going. Yes. Even if my ankles swell. Yes. I'm oppressed. Yes. Even when I get disappointed. Yes. I'm oppressed. Yes. Even when I'm lying on. Yes. I'm oppressed. Yes. To mark of a high calling which is in Christ Jesus Hallelujah. and many of us when we get wounded we're ready to die yeah. many of us and, and, and to be a soldier in God you got to be a strong soldier yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. you got to be able to put on the whole armor oh, yeah. of God Yes. And so many of us get wounded yes. and we won't stop fighting. Yes. We want to throw our hands up. Yes. But I come to tell you, in order to get a purple heart, yes. you got to keep on fighting. Yes. In order to get a reward from the Lord, you got to keep on fighting. That's also true in life. Each day that we live brings our own temptations that we must focus on our past, our failures in life. And I tell you, every time you don't achieve your goal, it's not a failure. It just means that you got to go back and reassess. Help me somebody. It means that maybe there wasn't enough attention drawn to it. Maybe it just means it wasn't enough preparation that was given to it. It don't mean not to keep trying. See, persistence is the one that's going to get you through. Remember that woman kept going to the judge? Pleading her case. He kept turning her down. But what happened? She kept on going. You understand what happened? The way people become so successful. Is that they keep on being persistent. And if you don't believe it. Let's get a telemarket. Keep calling your house. Come on somebody. What happened? They keep on being persistent. They keep on being persistent. See when you go there. And God don't answer you right away. You keep on going to Jesus. It's being persistent. And many of us may call it annoying. But it's being persistence Amen. and that's the way it is and Jesus want us to go and because when you become persistent it says a whole lot about you that you're determined uh -huh. that you're, you're aggressive yes. that you're not going to give up yes. no matter what it takes you're willing to count the cost amen. and that's why I tell all of our young people amen we may stumble and fall but if you keep on being persistent Putting the time in, putting what you need to put in, you're going to get victory after a while. Absolutely. Oh, beloved, you're going to get victory after a while. So don't look at life being a failure. Maybe what you're pursuing, amen, may not everything that we try to pursue is not always the right fit for us. Does that make sense? Amen. You got to understand what is right for you. Amen. And when you make that connection, then you know what you need to do to go forward. Being hurt in life. Jesus said, and you got to understand, in this life, we will have trials and tribulation. So he said you're going to be hurt. Look at him when he was traveling. Those same folks that were saying, Hosanna, Hosanna to the highest. Turned around and did what? Said crucify him. He was hurt. He was hurt. 
Look at those folks that sit at the table with him. He said, before the clock strikes through three times, somebody going to betray me. He said, he said, somebody going to betray me. And there will be folks that will walk with you, but yet talk about you. There were folks that will sit at the table with you, but yet talk about you. There were folks that will even be in your midst. Amen. And talk Ephonic right? while you you are in their presence. Hey. Go ahead, Pastor. Hurt. Hurt. But Jesus said, Shake it off. Shake it off. Shake it off. Thank you, Lord. Shake it off. But what I need you to do, I know you're hurt. I know you're hurt. But I need you to keep on doing good. Amen. Help me somebody. Amen. I know you've been disappointed. I know, know you've been let down. And I know you had some regret. But those regrets will cause you to miss your blessings. Those retaliations will cause you to miss your blessings. Because when you do good, vengeance is mine. I'll, I'll, take, I'll take care of what you need to get taken care of. But I just need you to allow me to be your God. I just need you to allow me to do what I need to do. I can cause the rain to fall. I can cause the winds to blow. But when we, amen, retaliate and we become rejectful, we put a stumbling block That's right. That's right. in our way. Amen. Amen. Because Jesus says obedience is better than sacrifice. Amen. But I want you to understand. I just want you to rely on that there is no problem All right. too big that I can't solve. Amen. Amen. Because I need you to understand. I need you to understand that the earth belongs to me. Amen. I need you to understand the fullness thereof belongs to me. And I need you to understand they that dwell therein. Yeah. Belongs to me. Amen. And I told you don't worry about nothing because what they have done to the least one of do I have a witness out? Don't worry about it. But what happens when you and that become rejected and when you become in whole and regret you 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 have rejected me. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You have turned my word down be, yeah. because I understand what you're going through. I may not come when you want me to. Hallelujah. But you can rest assured. Hallelujah. I'm on time, God. Hallelujah. Do I have a witness here? I'm on time, God. I just want, I just want you, I just want, I just want you to discuss me. Don't just sing about me. Don't just feel good about me. Trust me in your soul. Trust me with your spirit. I will make everything all right. I'll give you a song that said this joy that I have. Do I have a witness? The feeling that I have. The world, the world didn't give it to me. But what I need, I just need you to just trust me. I know sometimes hang low. Sometimes seem like when you get one thing together, something else seems to rise up. But I just want to test your faith. I haven't left you. I'm still there. All you got to do is call me. Can you call him? In the midnight hour. I haven't left you. Call me. Yes. Even when you feel abandoned, yes. feel like it, 
all along. And I can understand how Jesus felt when they was getting ready to crucify him. All of them that was with him stayed there, but when they got down there to hang him, they was all gone. Can I get a witness? Oh, but what I like about Jesus, he may not have folks around him, but he's still almighty God. Still God on the throne. Sometime in life, you may feel abandoned, but don't worry about it. Call on Jesus. He will make a way for you. When they got him on the cross, everybody has scattered, but I come to tell him, hold on. I'm glad you in. Come down from the cross. I'm glad you stand on the cross for me and for you. But I come and tell you, hold on, hold on, hold on. God will make a way for you. Can I get rich? You may feel all abandoned right now. Mama is not there. She in worship. Yes. Some not there. Rick is in worship. What you can do is to lift your hands. Yes. Yes, you will. He will Thank <laughs> you. 
nothing but the blood, the blood of Jesus, Lord. Oh, hallelujah, the blood, the blood, Lord. The pressure on the sickness, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. The whole bow, Lord, just bless them one by one, Lord. Just bless everybody. Oh, Lord, we're on the battlefield for you, Lord. And I can't do nothing, Lord. I'm looking for your grace and your mercy, Lord. You say your grace is sufficient. Oh, Lord, just clean us up a clean heart. In a right spirit, Lord. Let us be about you, Lord. If anything in this heart, Lord, we ask you to cast it out in the name of Jesus, Lord. Just each one of us, Lord. Bless our children, Lord. Throw your arms around them, Lord Jesus. Spread them, Lord Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus on our Lord. The blood of Jesus on our children, Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord. Lord, just bless our family, Lord. Keep them in the mighty way, Lord. You know all about it. You made them. You created them. Lord, just give them the strength. Just to God that God right us in the way we supposed to go, Lord. Then I ask you to bless God right at my home. In the name of Jesus, I pray. All these blessings I ask in Jesus' name, Father, I say, Amen. And I'm the Lord, the of Jesus, for my Lord. And I know, oh, oh, And you make your way back to your seat. Bring your blessing. Oh, the Lord of Jesus. God bless you. As we sign off, we want to let you know that we are here at the Solid Rock Baptist Church on the battlefield for our Lord. Until we meet again. Until next Sunday, do all the good you can. Speak well of everybody. Let somebody know that we are on the line. That we are on telecast. Let somebody know if they want to be blessed to tune in every Sunday morning here at the Solid Rock Baptist Church where God, Spirit, meets His people. Till we meet again. God bless you. May God keep you. I am Reverend Dr. Nathan J. Williams, the pastor of the Solid Rock Baptist Church. And Minister Dr. Frazier will come. Let us all stand and give our benediction. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Ghost be with you all. Let everybody say,